This is a PlayStation 4 controller I've modified. The main modification is I've added these 3D printed uh, levers. You push them backwards and they do the bumper. You push them forwards and they do the trigger. You push them down and they do both buttons. Uh, they're stuck on with Sugru. On this controller I've also added uh, some additional thumbstick buttons. So these are the same as pushing down the analog controls. Uh, if they need to be made bigger and a bit easier to press, you can add these red caps on top of them. I'm using a Brefo spider podium to hold the controller, just to keep the levers from touching whatever surface the controller's on. Okay, here's how to assemble your PlayStation 4 button lever. Uh, once you've printed the plastic parts, you're going to need a little bit of wire, some Sugru and supplies. Uh, first of all, take a piece of wire, we need a little bend in it, about 90 degrees. Uh, quite, a, quite a good steep bend. So this forms our pivot for the lever. So you've got the hole in the lever and the hole in the plastic part, you can't quite see them on the film. But line them up and push the axle through. There's a little groove on the side here for the wire to sit in. Um, so you're going to need to cut that to length. Can use some better snips for that. So a couple of millimeters ought to do it, about there. So pull the pull the wire tight so it's so the wire sit in the gap there. Cut the other end so you've got again about four or five millimeters sticking out. And then bend this other little bit of wire into the slot. It can be a bit tricky. Cool. Almost there. Yep, I do. Uh, then just to tidy it all up, I can't see much here because the camera's in the way, so you'll have to forgive me for any fumbling. So, get a Sugru. Just one tiny bit for this. Probably less than that. Can use that to cover the, the wire that's sticking out just to make sure there's no sharp edges. I'm going to make sure it's reasonably well pushed in so it can bond pretty well. Uh, I'm going to put the finishing touches on that and then we're going to cut and you'll see me sticking it to the controller. So here's the PlayStation 4 controller. To make sure the lever sticks well to it, I've scratched up with a, with a knife and a file. I've really scratched up the edge of this uh, trigger just to make sure the glue can stick really well to it. Uh, to stick the levers on, I'm going to use Sugru again. Uh, I think Sugru is probably a good choice for this because it's a bit springy, so it'll help take some of the shock out when, if uh, during an intense game, the lever gets pushed quite hard. Uh, so I'm just going to get a nice blob of that. Uh, really, Got to really make sure it's pushed into the plastic quite well, although I try not to get too much down there down the top here because I don't want to get in the way of the trigger action. Uh, so it's got to be worked into the into the lever a bit, into the trigger a bit. And you want quite a lot on there. Make sure everything's well and truly stuck. So 
So if Sigru doesn't prove to be strong enough to this, for this, then you'll have to look for a, another kind of rubbery glue. I think there's some No More Now style glue, which is a bit springy as well, which might be good for this. Uh, so the, the levers are left and right handed, so make sure you get the right one. It should it should look right. It should The lever should stick fairly straight up if you get the right one. Uh, they've got a little hook at the bottom for catching on the bottom of the trigger. So that hooks over and then push it on quite hard until the Sugru squeezes out the edges. Give it a bit of a wiggle. Uh, you should probably let these bits on the side here set first because they're coming out of mine now. Try and stay in focus on the camera. It's probably going to be easier to clean up the edges of the, the Sugru after this is dried rather than now. So I'll push that on quite hard, so hopefully that'll, hopefully that'll stick.